Sein Gegner hat bei der vergangenen WM da einen bisschen besseren Start erwischt. Er ist in Runde 2 vorgestoßen, hat da dann aber leider gegen Peter Wright mit 0 zu 4 den Kürzeren gezogen. Er hat aber auch schon mal in einem Finale eines Major-Turniers gestanden, nämlich beim World Cup of Darts 2013 zusammen mit seinem jüngeren Bruder Kim. Auch für ihn ist es in diesem Jahr der erste Auftritt bei der European Tour. Hier ist die aktuelle Nummer 41 der Welt aus Belgien. Hier ist The Rebel. Hier ist Ronnie Heibrecht. Well, no doubt about it, John Michael laying down a marker by winning the walk-on and winning over a fair chunk of the crowd inside the Ballhaus Forum. Second match of the day in the German Darts Masters. Greece plays Belgium in what is one of the more cosmopolitan ties of the first round. Ronnie Heibrex making his first appearance of the year on the European Tour. He missed the last two, failed to qualify for Venray and for Sindelfingen. And it's a long overdue. Welcome back to John Michael, a very popular player, very charismatic figure and on his day a very capable player as well you suspect though that Ronnie Hybricks might just have too much for him intriguing one to call this Rod Harrington uh, a warm welcome to you welcome to Munich first of all Rod thank you Rob yes uh, it's always nice to come here to Germany especially Munich apparently it's where all the money is in Germany it certainly is, yeah. Um, but yeah this game could be it could be a very close game uh, Ronnie Hybricks is probably with the bookmakers just edging as the favourite and um, we've seen some great performances from Ronnie Hybrex, especially taking out some big checkouts at crucial times mm. in those matches. But John Michaels hasn't been on the scene, the PDC scene long, but he's learning very quickly. Leg, gentlemen, you kind of feel that the first person first that gets a, a two-leg lead should push on and win. But who's going to get that two-leg lead? We'll have to see. And as we see, John Michael, well, One and not on a bad start. Well, this is actually John Michael's first European Tour event outside of the Netherlands. He qualified for Venray in both 2015 and also 2016. His campaign last month in Holland was cut short by Stephen Bunting, who beat him 6-0 in the first round. So when I say it's a long overdue return to the European Tour, I mean in this uh, particular part of the world. He's never played a European Tour event in Germany before. Beat Daryl Gurney in... Ryan in 2015 before a thrashing at the hands of Michael Smith. Ronnie Hybrex wow. out of the blocks here very nicely there after a sluggish start. He's got his eye in there, certainly. Well, that's certainly put him back in the leg. Wow. But that's a good return from Michael. He really did need to follow it up. Now, perhaps nine darts here for Ronnie Hybrex. Of course, the crowd will not frighten Ronnie, possibly as much as it will John, because you know, he's been up there, World Cup player with his brother, representing Belgium. One hundred and five. What do you require? One hundred and thirty-two. Well, this is a classic checkout. Two bullseyes and thirty-two. If he hits the twenty-five, now he'll go for the fifty-seven. Treble nineteen. We'll leave him that bullseye. He can't do that, so. John Michael will come back to the board for that 96. Two darts at treble John 20. Require yeah, that five has just made life a bit more difficult for Ronnie if he gets another chance. Well, he will get another chance. 56. That's just squeaked inside the what 16, so Michael sitting on sobs if Hybrex does fluff his lines here. Chance Well, that big number. Yeah, that big number, Miss Rod, it's, it's, um, means he only gets a dart at the bullseye instead of at a double. And it will be the bullseye for a break of throw. 43. And he's some way off as well. So John, you require 40. a let off for John Michael here. Potential 16 dart leg for him. 
You won't mind if it's 17 or 18. Well, 30. It's not over. Ronnie, you require full. What a let off for Ronnie that is. Yes, and these sort of let offs, you've got to take them, grasp them with both hands. Because you're going to get into the head of your opponent now. If he just comes off that barrel, hits that barrel, this will kiss him. 20. Oh, he's underpitched. John, you require 10. So, Miss Doubles stacking up already in this one. That's the danger with double five, and he's busted. He, he hit the 18. Ronnie, you require 20. And that's pretty unforgivable at this stage of the match. Inevitable, perhaps, or excusable, given the nerves he may be feeling in front of a big crowd here in the Ballhouse Forum. Does anybody want to win this leg, Rod? Well, well, it seems Ronnie does. I was going to say, he needs to overpitch this and use the barrel. It's exactly what he's done. So, Ronnie Hybrex feels that he's nicked one there, where John Michael will feel he's given, well, he has given a leg away. Now, the mindset wise, it should help Ronnie Hybrex and perhaps put John Michael on his back foot. But a 21 dart leg for a break of throw really does tell its own story. This is a good, uh, promising start to wow, the second leg. 23. Prior to hitting the treble one. John Michael beat three Dutchmen in qualifying for this tournament. He saw off Ryan de Vrede, Tom Gravink and Vincent van der Voort. Beat him 6-2. That was a very notable scalp in the qualifying campaign. This after van der Voort had been denied a qualifying place in Verlai as well in front of his home fans by Remco van Eyden. We talked earlier, Dan and I, about the high-profile casualties not to have made it through the high-profile casualties in qualifying. Van der Voort, Barney, Moving King, another one in the UK qualifiers. Well, we keep talking about the standard in depth, Rob, and, and, and that, that's why. These players, they're not scared of the big boys anymore, the big names. They're practicing hard and hard because the financial rewards well, are growing year on year. Um, you know, at one time you had to win a tournament or win tournaments to, to pay the mortgage. Now, mm. you just have to be in the, be in the tournament and you're going to get a good wage. So they practice a lot more. Well, this is going to be a, a big ask, but she can't do now. So Highbrex comes back, holds his throw, and this is a far better leg from Highbrex. 94. Wants 40 after 12 right, you require 40. Now, when he went to 40 before, he just went low. So, do you know what? Sometimes just over pitch. If it falls in, great. If not, it sits on the top wire. And he's pulled that low again. You can see what he thinks of it. Game no mistake with double Ronnie ten this time Ibrett. around. Yeah, you mentioned the financial rewards. Third John Michael John. had the biggest the payday of his career last October when he beat Antonio Alcinas in the final of the Southern European qualifying event for the World Championship. That 70. earned him not only €400, Euro, but it guaranteed him £10,000 as well just for getting to the World Championship at Ali Pali. Failed to build on that, though. He was comprehensively beaten by James Wade, three sets to nil in the last 64. Well, that front relates to about 12,500 euros at today's rate. A nice little payday. 45. Well, Hybrex has uh, an early advantage here. Hasn't really built on that significantly with his second set of guns. 85. But maybe just an outside chance of a, another break of throw here for Ronnie. Turned 50 last year, Hybrix. Yeah, just that final dart from John Michael. He's done that twice now. Hitting 120 and then heading east. And the ironic thing is, if you're noticing that, uh, if you're watching this, you know, Hybrix's darts, as you can see, when they go in the board, they're really solid. 84. They don't move, where John Michael's darts come in, they've got a spring-loaded point. Yeah, they ping around, don't they? Yeah, and, and there we have it. And They're supposed to not deflect so many darts, and yet every time he's gone for a 180, wow. he's deflected it in the one. Yep. Well, if you can get below a ton here, 
Michael could be in a spot of bother. 100. No finish here for John Michael on 165. He needs to put some pressure on though because there's two ways you can go for the 92, the aggressive route or what we call the old-fashioned route. The old-fashioned route is the 25, 17 for the bullseye or will he go the aggressive route at the treble 20? Well, it is the aggressive route, 72 he wants. I would stay there if I was him, which he's done. He had a perfect lie on the treble 20. That's the only problem, Rod, if, you think you're, Rob, if you're going to go for that treble 20, you may not get a dart at the bullseye. Yeah. Where's that gone? He was in trouble. Shake of the head from yeah, John Michael. Yeah, he, he was going for 419 for the double 16. Yeah, nicely done, Hybrix again. Takes Ryan out the double Ryan of the first Ryan time Ryan of Ryan asking. Ryan Ryan had Ryan huge Ryan problems first. with finishing Came in the first on. leg, but legs two and three have been much more comfortable. And he has the break. And he leads 3-0. Two breaks of throw now for Ronnie Hybrix. You kind of feel that this, this is all down to that first leg. If uh, John Michael had, had taken that first leg like he deserved, then he would have been the one, you know, on the front foot. And perhaps Ronnie, but now John Michael has got a lot of work. The pressure's starting to pile on him, although that one agent suggests that he's up for the task. First 180 of the match, that coming in the fourth leg. We had to wait a while in the first match of the day for the opening maximum. 59. It came in leg six of that 6-2 win for Mark Walsh over Thomas Junghans. Walsh living up to his reputation as a former UK Open finalist by coming through to set up a meeting with Ian White tomorrow. The silent assassin was uh, not silent and he wasn't really an assassin either. Well, there's one match-up this afternoon I'm really looking forward to. Daryl Gurney against the young man from Belgium, Dimitri Vandenberg. Yeah, that'll be a cracker. Uh, Daryl Gurney has been playing extremely well over the last year, 18 months. One His hundred confidence is high. He's hitting a lot of 180s that's so given him more darts at a double. Against a young man who, remember, danced his way on the stage at Alexandra Palace in the William Hill and... Uh, well, I think if we'd have tried that, there'd be a few cartridge <laughs> operations on their way. There are one or two who suggest, though, that now Gurney's started to, 66. you know, make an impression, reach the Johnny semis at Minehead in the Players' number. Championship, and, of course, uh, got to the final in Holland last month as well. Now there is almost an expectation on him. He might buckle somewhat under the 80. weight of that expectation. Would you go along with that? Well, or? You require no, I, I, don't, I don't think that's going to happen at the moment. After two or three years of playing this level, that's when normally it starts to... Uh, come at you if it's going to come at you. Um, I, I think that he's just a, a young man that's just going to get up there and throw in darts. He's enjoying it at the moment. Obviously, it's easy to enjoy it when you're playing well. We, we appreciate that. But, uh, no, I don't think we're going to see a let up. Game show. Last one for Michael gets a John leg Michael. on the board, and that was a break of throw. Fifth leg, John, the throw so first. That's one back. Came on. Rush break. Our MC, been around nearly as long as what I have. <laughs> well, John Michael, having got that break, having got that leg on the board, it may well be a platform on which he can build something. It's a good foundation for him, and he's got another 180, his second of the match. Can Ronnie respond in kind here? No, he can't. Just feel as though if Michael can hold here, it might just threaten them build up into a really good finale to this match. 43. Well, the game's all about confidence. You know, after that first leg, Michael was, you know, really on the back foot. But that leg now gives him a little bit of a lift. And he just needs to follow it up. Yeah, and I, I remember Ronnie last year in Innsbruck playing Wes Newton. He led 5-1 against Wes. Uh, and then Wes fought back. But Ronnie just about got over the line to win 6-5. Maybe a similar sort of set of circumstances here, with Michael threatening a fight back. Could do with a treble though, Ronnie. Not that one though. 
John, you require 138. Well, he's got plenty of darts. Well, he set it up absolutely perfect. A good scoring leg from Michael. 12 darts thrown, double top. Required. Get him back within one. 57. John, you require. Well, Ronnie's last three visits 60, 42, and 57. He just can't buy a treble at the moment. John Michael needs a double Game set. John, a fifth leg. And it's John now a two, three. He has the, the momentum first. behind him. Game on. 3 0 becomes 3 2. And all of a sudden, Ronnie has uh, something to think about here. Well, this is where Ronnie's he's got to show some character and some form. You know, he's got to stop that run. 58. It's a mega important leg for Ronnie Hybrex here because if he wins it, he goes too clear. If he loses it, honestly, his level, which wow, then puts the run so firmly. John Michael. You can see the stats there. Pretty good legs apart from that first one, which could have gone either way. Yeah. Well, John Michael having the, the first darts at the double. Well, that's his first wow. treble in five visits. Well, if you look at the, the front nine average of John Michael, I mean, that, that is very reasonable. That is very reasonable. Oh, it's better than reasonable. It's very good. Just means that he's letting himself down when he's trying to set the shot up and obviously take the double out. Yeah, needs to find another break of throw from somewhere. One hundred. And it could well be in this leg. Ronnie with an advantage of 63, which uh, Michael will overtake it, overhaul. One hundred and forty. Well, that certainly is going to help that front nine average. He's probably thinking, why have I left 66? Well, he had no choice. 59. 166. So he's yeah. going to get six darts now to level it up. Or just pitch over the top of that and find the treble he has. Now over to the treble 18. Wow, 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 wow. For the ball tight. Yeah, real spring in his step now, John Michael, as he went to the board there to retrieve his darts. Well, it's a sensible shot, that, Rob, going for that 25, because what, it, what it's enabled him is to come back with two darts to the double if he hits the 25. 80. Admittedly, and I had this John, not an argument, but a 61. discussion with Wayne Mardley, he said, oh, no, you aim for the 25. You can only see the bullseye. Yeah, he's and, hit the ball there as yeah, well. And, and the amount of times, because you do only look at the bullseye. Double four. 57. It takes over the what whole of your vision. 104. Yeah, that time wanted the 25 to leave double 18, but he sort of... Got himself back on track to an extent to leave himself double two. Hybrids there with an outside chance here. Could have done with that finding the treble bet. That, that one does. has. That leaves double 16 by my reckoning. Yeah, it certainly does. And what a big dart this is for Hybrix. Hit it first time when asked last time. 17. The outside. Now the way John Michael John starts going the board, he doesn't want to rover pitch. Under pitch to lay, if it's not going to go in, just on the bottom wire. Now that's not too bad to be quite honest. Well, oh. Ooh, it's no score, and Ronnie is lurking Ronnie now. Ronnie require 32. Well, credit to Hybrids because he kept plugging away to get himself into a position to challenge in case Michael slips up. And in once China again, he takes out the double at the first Ronnie time of asking, Hybrids. just as he did in legs two Seven and legs three. On the throw first. Game on. And having won that leg. The impetus now back with Ronnie Hybrix. He's worked so hard as John Michael, you kind of feel sorry for him because, again, look at his, you know, another 180. Wow. That's the third maximum at the start of a leg. Two of the other legs, he's kicked off with 140. So, front nine average is exceptional. He wow. just cannot close the game out. He's given two legs, the first and the sixth leg he's given just handed to him. Well, it's not Christmas, it is Easter. <laughs> 41. Well, he's backed up his 180 with a 41. And, you know, we've said it time and time again about consistency. It's all well and good. Blazing a trail with an opening 180, but if you can't back it up. 40. And if Ronnie's finding some consistency with his scoring, 134 and a 140, that's where the damage is really done. 
Michael back on track here though, maybe. Well, there you go. Fourth of the match for John Michael. And now it's Michael's turn to take over and get himself in the ascendancy. 85, John, you require 100. Well, it could be an 11 dart finish here for John Michael. You know, sorry, Ron, normally you probably find, well, I was going to say you probably find they take this shot out after missing loads of darts and a double, but he hasn't done 44. that. 44. Ron, you require It's a big ask for 142. If he hits the treble 20, I expect him to stay there instead of going the bullseye route. And that's unlucky, that's a well thrown dart just on the top side. Well, you can hear the noise in this arena. May not be a Premier League crowd, but certainly as noisy. Double 18 then for a 4-3 deficit. 20. And it just opens the door once again for Ronnie. Ronnie. Yeah, every session is sold out, by the way, today, tomorrow and on Monday for the German Masters. Ronnie Hybrix to go within one leg of a place in the second round. Double 16 he wants. He's got one more go at it. Game shot on the seventh it. leg. Ronnie Hybrix. And Ronnie Hybrix leg, Ronnie in a to great position first. now. Game on. Yellow Klassen awaits the winner of this one, by the way, in the second round tomorrow. World Championship semi-finalist. Well, by my reckoning, Rob, that's three legs that John Michael has given away. But fair play to Ronnie Hybrex. He's digging Nine in there, six. he's keeping with him. And when you're a player and you know your opponent's missing doubles, you just think, well, I'll stay with him because he's going to keep missing. And that's exactly what he's done. 41. Ronnie made the second round here last year, by the way, in Munich. He lost 6-4 to Jamie Caven, who went on to reach the semi-finals. He was beaten by Van Gerwen in that semi-final. Van Gerwen, your defending champion here. 134. He's on stage tomorrow against, potentially, the man who almost pulled off what would have been one of the biggest upsets in the history of the 16. World Championship. Rene Idems potentially lying in wait if he can get past Pete Hudson tomorrow, oh, sorry, later on today. Well, you can see the checkouts there, 13% from John Michael. That tells the story. 101. Well, that would be a way to finish it off, wouldn't it? Well, we've seen Van Gerwen do it five times in the <laughs> last two weeks. At the UK Open, it was astonishing, wasn't it? 97. Twice against Ronnie my Rick son, by the way. I did have a word with Michael. Well... What a way to finish it off. Groans around the Ballhouse Forum well, I'm right out 30. Will we get the nine dart finish in Europe this year? Well, I keep saying it with the standard of the players. You well, know, I'm right out 40. You feel that it's got to happen. Well, we haven't had it in the Premier League yet, which the way Van gerwen has been playing a few hours is unbelievable. Yeah, well, Hybrex here, double ten then, two attempts at double ten, one more attempt for a 6-2 win. Game shot. And there it is. Ronnie Hybrex. Ronnie Hybrex coming through by six legs to two, but the scoreline perhaps a little harsh on John Michael, who, as Rod said, perhaps gifted a couple of legs to Ronnie Hybrex. Ultimately, though, his finishing let him down two out of 15 on the doubles. And Ronnie Hybrex coming up with the goods when it mattered. Four on eighties for Michael as well. But it's Hybrex who goes through to face Jelle Klaassen in the second round tomorrow. We'll hear from Ronnie in just a moment with Timo Gans. Just to let you know that up next on stage we've got Mark Barilli against the Spaniard Cristo Reyes.